So I play World of Tanks um, on again and off again, basically, kind of as and when the mood takes me. And with a couple of my friends starting to play, you know, I'm, I'm getting back into it. Although I've realised that there, are, I there's a for me personally, there's a point at which I go, I'm not that interested in progressing down the tank tree. And this, for most, most of sort of the the nations, is around tier six, tier seven, eight, nine, and ten. I find kind of stressful to play. I think it's because the games are a lot slower at that sort of tier. The cost of loss is a lot higher, so people tend to play more cautiously, and that just doesn't. Not that that doesn't appeal. Sometimes, obviously, I am in the mood for a cautious game, but most of the time, what I want is a bit of a bit of violence, <coughs> quick, dirty tank on tank violence. Because I sort of figure, you know, World of Tanks is kind of an arcadey sort of game, and that's that's how I want to play it. Of all the tanks there are, as far as I'm concerned, the most fun to play is the KV2. And if you if you don't think that's true, then you have no song. It, it's that simple. This is a tank that. As far as I'm concerned, fixes all of the problems with playing a tier six heavy tank because okay, your armor's a bit rubbish. Although I managed to absorb a metric shit ton of shots during this match, I'm not quite sure what happened there. But because it's got a gun that can derp the shit out of anything on the map, like anything in the map. Even tier rate tanks, you're going to do damage, you're going to mess up modules, kill crew members, you're going to be able to do something. And I think, like, if you're playing with, like, a, a medium, a, a tier 6 medium in a high tier match, you can usually, you know, nip behind, hunt down SPGs, be a fast flanker. Um, same as if you're in a scout tank in a light. There's usually things you can do, but the KV-2 is so slow that you're never, in the course of a normal game, going to get anywhere near you know, their SPGs, unless something's gone hideously wrong, or right, I guess, depending on which way you want to look at it. So the KV-2, as far as I'm concerned, is a really fun tank to play, and it's got some drawbacks. Um, as you can see from this video, KV-2 has um, something of a shed on the top, and it's about as armoured as far as I can work out, as your your common garden shed, anything is going to penetrate it from the side or the rear and the front. Your gun mantle, I think, provides some protection, but it's not. It's it's basically nothing to get, you. You can't guarantee it. <clears throat> but what makes it hilarious? I mean, it is all about the gun. It's inaccurate. It's very inaccurate. Um, it's slow to fire. It's fires on quite like an awkward sort of ballistic arc. But with high explosives, you take off tracks, you kill crew men, you basically make the enemy team get really, really, really pissed off with you. And a lot of the time, you'll see people um, poke around, put their head around the corner, and you'll shoot them. And There'll be, I, I guess it's kind of like you'll be so afraid of the damage that you just took from the shot that you won't think that, well hold on a second, in it's going to take them another 20 seconds to reload. If the other t if the other team sensibly rush your position, the KV-2 is in a lot of trouble. And like this ELC probably could have killed me if he actually bothered to try and shoot me, but as it stands, yeah, tiny little light tank. Huge derpy cannon didn't stand a chance. So this is kind of, my, I guess, my love letter to the KV2. I'm not sure whether or not anyone. I'm, I'm, I'm certain that other people feel the same way because, I mean, look at it. How could, how could you not like this thing? I mean, it's, it's huge. Its engine sounds angry. It's slow. It's got. Big gun. This is like the epitome of. This is the epitome of tanks. There is no tank in this game that is better than the KV2, and anyone who says otherwise is probably a lot better at this game than I am. Uh, although, having said that, I do have a soft spot 
for the TOG-2 over there. Um, because... Damn. If, if, if there is a tank that looked more stupid looking than the KV-2, the only thing that I can think of is, is the TOG-2, which is sort of the, the nemesis of the KV-2. So, I'm playing with um, some war tanks now with some sort of my housemates and I'm trying to encourage them to get up to the tier 6 Russian heavy sort of branch so that we can have a platoon of three people playing KV-2s. Would I say the KV-2 is for everyone? No. I think if you're... And it's certainly not a tank that even, like, I have it and I don't think, oh, I've got to play with the KV-2. There's other tanks that I'd rather play with sometimes. But when you're in the mood for basically a guaranteed good game where you are going to be able to do something, I think the KV-2 is sort of the best, I'd almost call it tier, almost call it tier insurance tank there is. doesn't matter if you're at the top or the bottom on the KV-2, you're going to get to do something, you're going to do some damage. Um, and obviously you're going to dominate games if you're the, t the, the tier 6 at the top and everyone else is, is much lower than you are. But even like in this game, where I'm a tier 6, there are tier 8s in the game. I still clock up 3 kills, I still get to do some damage, I still get to participate in the game, even though I had to kind of be on the sort of rear guard defensive. So that's where you should play the KV2. I mean, look at it. <laughs>